all me hotties, a very good afternoon to you. It's just me, Scotty McLeod, popping up live just to say hi to every single one of you, of course. So do come and join me because we've got a lot to get through this afternoon. And of course, always, we're very tight for time. We have to dash off after a few minutes. So come and get the advantage of Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you. Scotty Henry, lovely to have Henry with us, of course, and a very warm welcome to you. Excellent stuff, Henry. Well spotted. Henry, did you have the notifications or did you just chance upon me, as they say, when you were scrolling through the lives? Sometimes that happens as well. If anybody's scrolling, don't need to scroll any further. You've hit the big time. I'm here. Hearing this voice has made me happy. Shrill Waffle, how lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, I did have the notification, sir. Ah, excellent, Henry. And um, the reason I'm asking is I'd just like to know that everything's working as it should. Difficulty reveal. Go on then, ring. Let's have you see what's, uh, what's your worry. You can share it with the rest of us and we'll give you some chat. Excellent stuff. Now, remember, anybody coming on that puts anything about candy will just be toasted right away. Gone. Lifetime ban finished. Excellent stuff. I missed you. I just came in. Hi, Scotty lad. Hi, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. And good stuff. Excellent. Ring says, I am autistic. Not a problem, Ring. Everybody is welcome on here, regardless of race, age, creed, color, this, that, the next thing. Not a problem. So you're very, very welcome. We are very inclusive. Follow me as soon as you come on, Dinky Doo. Who did you vote for on Thursday? Oh, Ross. You never, ever, ever ask anybody who they voted for. That's their business, I can tell you. There were a couple of little trolls on. On, but we'll ignore them just now. Hi, Crash Bang, nice to have you with us. Scotty Boss Man, still looking good, lad. I thank you very, very much indeed. Hey, 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 hey. lovely to have you with us. Now then, uh, I couldn't uh, bother voting, so there we are. Uh, so I don't know what that is, so it won't change from the Tory. Oh, you should have voted. Agree, just curious, just curious. Oh, we're all very curious on here. Do share, guys. <clears throat> so there we are. Ring says, I am autistic too. What is your learning difficulty? Uh, well, as far as I know, I don't have one uh, at the moment. But if I do, I'll let you know right away. Uh, so there you are. Are you an extra from Still Game? They say Scotty McClue was the inspiration for Still Game. What about that? There you go now, you see. I'm not just an athlete. Now, uh, we've got... Um, what have we got here? Always vote, but didn't like any of them. So there we are. Ah, right. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Shannon, thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. Two seconds here, guys. We're just saying farewell and goodbye to the Super Ninja. Way There he goes. He's better on something a bit more commensurate with his own IQ. <laughs> Excellent stuff. We like that. Uh, the trolls are toast. SNP doing well, aren't they? They seem to be, yes. Seem to be doing very well indeed. Is everything finalized yet? Can I have a shout out, please? Says Treve. Of course you can, Treve. Always welcome to a wee shout out on Scotty McClue. Can everybody get following, guys, as soon as we come on? Very short of followers. And can somebody volunteer to go and like all the TikTok videos and come back to me on that one? Nicola Sturgeon's had a good couple of days. Well, I think she's had a good uh, 10 years, you know, and I hope she has another good 10 years. I'm Welsh and very happy. I think everybody in Wales is very happy because they've got a lot to be happy about. Yakida, lovely to have you with us. And thank you. Follow us and share the live, guys. Tap your screens. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Share it with every single TikToker. If you've got a TikTok account, you should be following following Scotty McClue. So every TikToker needs to know about this. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do. Now, uh, what have we got here? What have we got here? I say, oh yes, lots of likes for the videos as well, please.
days. I've done a, a lot of new TikTok videos for you. Who says Rue? I don't know Rue. Who were you looking for? Hello, says Train and Bus. Hello, Train and Bus. Fantastic stuff. Scotty McClue with you, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Yes, I'm not just a, not just a pretty face, you know. Now, that's fantastic. Hello, Train and Bus. I hope you're well. And say hi to your folks for us all from on here. Ruiz, nice to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClue. So there we go. Now, a uh, train and bus keeps falling off horses. Poor soul. How are you today, Scotty? Ah, dear. Dinky doo, we are excellent on here. I just thought Saturday lunchtime, quick pop up, hi to everybody, and then we are sorted. There we go. How's it going, Scotty? It's going great, guys. And thanks so much for following us. Thanks so much for watching all the videos. I hope you've been smiling and smiling and smiling at TikTok's top talk show. That's, are you a farmer? I be a very good mortal farmer. I say to you, Scotty, my friend, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. That's what it's all about. Now then, who else have we got here? Uh, do tell us, do tell us. As soon as you come on, let us know. And we will give you a wee shout out to not just the nation, but across the world, I think that's the important thing. Ah, dinky you do. Now, who have we got here? Um, do you still work at a superstore? Yes, I do. Pop by and buy half a cabbage next time you're passing. I'll be lovely to see you. Uh, wait a minute. Rosabella, you're starting to spam us. So we'll just say bye. Okay, gone, finished. That's Rosabella gone down the road, down the old swanee for cheeking up to Scotty McClue. Nobody does that. There we are. Now, what we'll do with you, I think, as well, Adolf, you haven't quite grasped what it's like to be on a real top talk show. So we'll throw you down the path as well. There we are. Excellent stuff. He's gone. Good stuff. Just getting rid of some of the idiots, guys. They're off ski. Uh, you don't want any idiots on here, so we clean it up at the start, and the wee trolls just wander off into the atmosphere. Uh, you want independence? Well, ah, well, you might get your wish. I can tell you. Greetings from, uh, it used to be, Yes, it's Zimbabwe now. Is that right? Zimbabwe. There you are. DT. DT. Yes, indeed. We can't announce a country that no longer exists, can we really? So that's that sorted, I would say. Fantastic. Lovely to have you all on, guys. Follow as soon as you come on. We're needing followers all the time. We need people to follow and follow and follow. I don't personally understand it. I've had well over half a million viewers and I've only got 11,500 followers. Now, something is strange about that. So there you go. Dinky you do. Uh, ZH, absolutely. The man is indeed. Good for you. Well done. There he goes. He's off skate. I uh, used to work at Atlantic 252. I used to listen 25 years ago. Fantastic. Why do you think it is strange Labour did so badly in England? I think Labour is going to be doing badly because they didn't back Scottish independence. Had they done that, their lady leader at the time would probably have been the next first minister. So, you know, Labour have betrayed their roots and nobody knows where they are. You see, Labour have got a dichotomy. The only time Labour were really a force in this country was probably 1948. That was one of them. And there was quite a lot of politics of envy, so they didn't last. Because for some reason, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland tends to be interested in the right-wing Conservatives. That's who they vote for every time they get a chance. So we had one Labour leader in 1997 who took the party to the right, and they got in, yes. and uh, But that was really the end of the Labour movement as we knew it on the 1st of May 1997. Bye-bye Labour movement. So that was the end of that, you see. And uh, I think that's that's what's happened there. Now they're just stuck in the political wilderness because we don't know what they are, fish or fowl. Are they a right-wing party 
or a left-wing party. You see, when Mr. Corbyn was leading the party, they were very, very close to getting into power. Very close. So it just tells you, doesn't it? Anyway, we have to dash. Daisy says, what's your pronouns? We don't do any of that old-fashioned stuff, Daisy. We are all inclusive on here. Go the Conservatives, says Mike. <laughs> you say happy 45th birthday to Dunheath. What are your pronouns? We don't ask Daisy. We don't need them. My nouns are Scotty McClure. And that's all you need, you see. Hello from Romania. Hello from South Africa. Lovely to have you with us. Are you throwing something on the bride today, Heno? Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us from South Africa. Hello from Croatia. Davidoff. Jesus loves you, man. Jacob, you could not be closer to the truth. Jesus absolutely adores me, and I adore him. There's nothing liberal about the Lib Dems. There's nothing democratic about them. Well, you see, they were the social democrats, yes? I love your views. You're a sound man. Thank you, Dermot. So there we are. Now, there's somebody doing a Candice. Shall we bin them? Vincent, I think you're binned for doing Candice. Sorry. Everybody that does Candice doesn't have a place on here. There we are, or on TikTok for that matter. Everyone has pronouns. Don't be so disrespectful. Dizzy, nobody bothers with any of that old-fashioned stuff now. You see, what we've got, the most respectful thing you could do is be all-inclusive. So don't you be disrespectful. Aha, uh -huh. shocking. There we are. I'm having a Scottish leader. <coughs> Excellent stuff, Hanno. Follow us, guys. All right, team, what's happening in Scotland? Jesus died for us. Some have respect. Absolutely, Stair. Good for you. That's what it's all about. Now, uh, join us, guys, as soon as you can. Share the live and follow me. Very, very important because this is fast becoming TikTok's top talk show. Very, 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 very big. Very big indeed. And we've only been going about four or five weeks. And already, my only great disappointment is we've only got 11,500 followers. And we've had over half a million viewers. So that's interesting. Ah, Lahoub, dinky do to you. Hello from Austria, Scotty, my friend. How are you? Jonas, yes, Österreich. We love Austria. Beautiful, beautiful. Not just because the sound of music, but we adore it. I love Austria. Holidayed in Austria, wonderful. <coughs> Follow us, guys. Are you for Scottish independence? Watch my TikToks, Mike, and you'll get the picture. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. I want to learn to play the bagpipes. My grandparents are from Scotland. Hello. Did I show you? There's my father. My father playing the bagpipes for you. Fantastic. How are you, Scotty? We're dinky do. Lovely to have everybody with us. Fantastic. A lot of your TikTok. I've had TikTok, I think, for a year and a bit, but I've only been live for about four or five weeks, so we didn't do much with it to start with. Uh, no, I can't play very well. I can tune them, and I can start them, but I'm not very good on the chanter, which is what matters. The old flowers got Hi, from Malaysia. We love having you from Malaysia. Follow us, guys, please. We're desperately, desperately needing followers, big style. We've only got 11,500, and we've been going five weeks that should be 400,000 499,000 there's Mike talking a bit of nonsense we're stronger together Mike we're not stronger together from Scotland's point of view you're stronger together from Westminster's point of view because Scotland's a great cash cow Yes, and we don't bite the hand that feeds us. So Scotland's been feeding the rest of the UK for 313 years. Time for it to go now and uh, start building. Uh, it's, it's stuff, didn't you? You lost your pension. What was that? If you lost your pension, I don't know what you mean by that. So there we are. Dinky do freedom, big man. Absolutely. Uh, do you like baked beans? I do like them, but they're not my top of the list food. So there we are, Dylan. So, Dylan, we're not actually stronger together. Oh, we're stronger together. Oh, America. America, would you consider coming back under the British crown? Because, um, you know, you, you offered Bonnie Prince Charlie the throne of America after independence. Do many people know that? So there we are. Ellie, 
I uh, didn't have a job there. I was at another supermarket, so you'll not get a half cabbage. Ellie's a wee troll that comes on to lives. We so we'll send her off this one though, because we don't want any rubbish on here. I can tell you. So there you are. A very very warm welcome, guys. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Your contacts look so natural. They're lovely, lovely people because we just started as a bit of cheery, funny, light-hearted banter because the news was so negative and so depressing and people were getting mentally ill. They were getting fed up. I thought these people need a bit of Scotty McClue because as you probably know, I've had the biggest radio phone-ins ever to hit the UK. Tremendous stuff. Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders! I can't see a Peaky Blinder! Oh! <laughs> what time is it in your country, mate? In my country? Well, all the countries are my countries. But in the one I'm living in at the moment, it's uh, 12.41 at lunchtime. There we go. Fantastic. So that's us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Let's build the followers. And somebody go and start liking uh, the uh, videos, the TikTok videos. If you're into YouTube, I know we don't tend to cross-platform, but you'll see the YouTube hyperlink just below my profile. Get yourself on there. 1341. I like you, Scotty. You're also funny. We mo. I like you. You're funny as well. Let's be funny together on here. Uh, now, who have we got? Uh, st what have we got? Lahub. Yeah, I told you not to say that. You don't need to say it. Your day has come. It arrived 24 years ago. Wakey, wakey, sleepy boy. Fantastic. We like that. Now then, who have we got here? The Jolly Ranchers just followed us, guys. Thank you, Jolly Rancher. Very much appreciated. And uh, lovely, lovely stuff. Now, can somebody tell us when they're going to like the TikTok videos? And uh, let us know when they're going to. And let us know when you come back. And we'll check it out here. Is that all right? Is that a deal? You're looking good, babes. What did you do already today? Oh, stacks of stuff, Jonas. I did a quick pop-up this morning on TikTok about uh, just before 9 o'clock just to say hi to everybody and a very good morning. Please follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We're very, very busy on here. This is the big TikTok. Now, there's somebody putting the IRA, a very historical thing. Most of you will never, ever, ever have heard of them, but they, they kind of... How can I say, the IRA died the day Lord Mountbatten died. That was the end of the IRA. That split it right up the middle and finished it. But there's still a few stragglers, I believe, a few old stragglers, and uh, believe in all that kind of divisive nonsense. And I also think there's one or two thugs seeing if they could have it in the modern times. So there we go. But it's not something that uh, that we want to be having in our society and it has no purpose that's what i would say and that's the truth and that's me being very 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 balanced as always follow us guys as soon as you come on fantastic stuff there we are and uh, i'll be translating all that later <laughs> tremendous stuff now who have we got on here have you ever been to south africa i haven't i would love to go eastern cape is that the one for me would you say uh what do you think of a second scottish independence referendum i think the sooner the better i don't believe any of the stuff from other parties that it's divisive that it's a problem that we can't do it while we're recovering that's just a lot of rubbish yeah let's have it and see how it goes because it will change have changed dramatically i would think because of brexit so there we are bring the six counties back how do you know the six counties want to come back. And how do you know the Irish people want the six counties back? Yeah. Ulster, I think, is eight counties. So you'd have two, if you brought the six back, you'd have two Ulster counties in the north. Eastern Cape's dry and hot. Too dry and hot for me, hello. This guy is a legend. 15 years, mate, closer than you think. Was it 15 years? 
No, 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 no. No, the IRA's been gone for years. Fifteen years. I would have said twenty-three years. Definitely. There we go. Of course, you'll still always get people hankering on, you know, a bit like that, like people trying to reenact the Battle of the Boyne or reenact the Battle for Independence, the Battle of Yorktown. But it should be made more a, a festive thing. Uh, three Ulster counties are in the Republic, so they would be all right then. Rather go to Cape Town, mother city of South Africa, very pretty. Right, Heno, I shall take your advice. I'll go to Cape Town. And is that where you've got Table Mountain? And does Cape Town overlook the sea? Am I right? You think Ireland should get the counties back? If, if they want it. There's Mumslayer using that old phrase. Hey, our day will come. Your days come, son. Chill. Finished. Over. Woo! Your day has come. Yes, God save Ireland. Fantastic. Yes, you're absolutely right. Thanks, Heno. Rightfully ours. What's your state? What do you mean, rightfully yours? What right do you have to upset other people's lives? Tell us that. You once told me there was a famine in Ireland. There wasn't. It was genocide. No, it wasn't genocide, La Hoop. It was a lack of communication. And there was a terrific famine in Ireland. Yes, that's why... Michael stole Trevelyan's con so the young might see them on. Dink you do la, you see. Scott is the only quality content on here. I am the boss, you say lovely things. Everybody's agreeing with Scotty McClear there. Fantastic. Absolutely a lot of heads nodding. Because I'm something of an expert on Ireland, so I can tell you the lot. The English came and stole our food, that's what happened. No, they didn't, La Hoop. That's what you've had your head stuffed with. Right? Yes, the English came and they actually worked the land for you. Yes, indeed. Scotty, did you fight in World War II? No, but my father did. My father was a paratrooper. Six years. Dropped into huge theatres of war. Dropped into Nijmegen. Dropped into Operation Market Garden. Dropped into Norway in 1944, one of the liberators. Um, dropped into, um, they were in India, 1946, guard duty with the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders. Lord Mountbatten was the viceroy. So there we are. I lo loved Lord Mountbatten, an awful atrocity, dreadful. That's what split the IRA. That was the end of the IRA. We went, oh no, finished. Any harm to Her Majesty the Queen, regardless of your race, your creed, your colour, your religion, your ethnicity, big no-no. There we are. They also tried to destroy a beautiful language. Not at all, I hope. What you should go is go and learn the words of Galway Bay. The strangers came and tried to teach us their ways. They mocked us just for being what they are. But they might as well go on chasing moonbeams or light a penny candle from a star. So nobody's destroyed your beautiful language. You're speaking it right now. How much of a contradiction in terms are you? Yeah, you're free. You've got access to everywhere in your country. All the counties are what they want to be at the moment. Nobody's got a problem. The songs are all there. Your lovely language is intact. What is your problem? There we go. Fantastic. Bye, Scotty. Wish you a beautiful day. Much love from Austerich. We love it. Nicht Deutsche sprechen, ich bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. The British deliberately exported food from Ireland and stopped the Ottoman Emperor from donating money. There'll be all sorts of pros and cons. But remember that Britain's been in Ireland since, uh, what, the 1300s? You know what I mean? So whose country is it? There we are. La Hub, the IRA hasn't done any hard work. Do you know what I mean? Everything the IRA has done has destroyed Irish politics in the world. Yeah. And therefore, now it's time to rebuild. Yes. So drop all that stuff. Get on with your life. Don't waste your generation. Another generation spoiled by a lack of knowledge and understanding about their own history. Uh, so there we go. Now, it's the IRA's country you span. No, it's not. Of course it's not. 
That's it. They're, they're an illegal outfit in that country. How could it be their country? How crazy are you? You know, you need to go and look at your history, you spanner. There we go. Uh, big man, Boris will stop a second referendum. Um, well, I don't know if he will be able to do that, actually. So there you go. Um, you know, it's it's uh, democracy. And I mean, did Boris stop Brexit? No. Nope. So there you go. That's a wee thought, isn't it? The Irish is country. Well, no, it's a country in the world, Chris. Do you see what I mean? And there will be a degree of Irish people living in it. The same as every other country in the world. So they need to just wakey-wakey and think, Hi, I know every blade of grass in Ireland. I love it. I love its culture, its background. I'm welcome anywhere, right down the south, right in the stronghold of the old republicanism in 1916, 1920. The whole lot. Michael Collins, yes, right down there. James Connolly, Clonakilty. There we are. Yes, he will. Boris is the Prime Minister of Scotland. Um, no, Boris is the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom which is Scotland, England, Ireland, and Wales. Scotland has its own first minister. As long as we keep the monarchy, all will be well. It's agreed there'll be a referendum in Irish unity. Well, the hoop. Then you'll have to just respect the result and stop your nonsense. Stop wasting your time. Boris made it worse in the north. The trade agreements has gone to shambles. Well, of course, there. Huh? But, you know, Ireland got thrown under a bus there for Brexit. Brexit's the biggest act of self-harm since um, the First World War. Colin McRae was the Flying Scotsman, wonderful man. Yes, absolutely. So there you are, LaHoop. So, guys, stop going banging on about all that nonsense now. Nobody's interested. Any thoughts on the DUP leadership situation? The DUP might be on their way out. Who knows? You know, might be looked upon as a little bit old-fashioned now. You know, the fields of Arthur Rye, beautiful song, shame it brings bad feelings. Well, it shouldn't. I was singing it yesterday. You know, I might even play it for you, if I can remember it. From Donegal to Dublin City, Scotty knows them all, absolutely. And Scotty's welcome everywhere, because I'm apolitical. Yes? And my shout to all the people who are extremists is uh, chuck it in. Yeah? There we are. Chuck it in. What have we got here? just an athlete, you know. Excellent stuff. Please, I'll join you if you explain which buttons to press. Oh, on the squeeze box. Michael Collins was an Irish legend who was part of the IRA. It was indeed, Larube. You're quite right, the big man. But who shot him? Was it his own men? Was it the IRA? You see? Scotty, that was wonderful. I just gave you a quick bust of it. Absolutely. Uh, right and correct, says Lahoub. I am indeed, sir. McClue knows his stuff. Anyway, moving on, we don't want you to monopolizing it with all that stuff because, as I say, you'll be putting people off. The fields of Ballynay. So scrag. <laughs> You're correct, my friend. Thank you, Lahoub. So there we go. Um, it wasn't the IRA, it was De Valera's man, but De Valera was the IRA, you see. So what you could say is, again, the Irish were killing their own people. Talk English, says you, say, oh, I'll cut you, is that all right for you? Yeah, up the apples and pears, you, sir. No problem. Mmm. Absolutely delicious, guys. What do you guys think about the vaccines? Well, they're getting on with it. Hello again from the Isle of Barra, Scotty. <coughs> now, 
If you're from Sky, you're a Skinoch. If you're from Lewis, you're a, a Yusuch. If you're from Lewis, you're a Yusuch. If you're from Barra, are you a Baruch? That's what I'm wondering. The English invaded us to... What is we going on here? Guys, oh, see all this stuff. The English invaded and stole every country over its time. Nah, no, no, there was no justice. The IRA are by themselves an injustice to Ireland. Or where, as I say, they finished about 23 years ago. Well, they finished in 79 when Lord Mountbatten was murdered. So it looks like the SNP have lost the election. Sir, I don't think there's any question of them losing the election. <laughs> it looks like you're maybe looking at something very out of date. Dev wasn't even Irish. She was American. Well, so is uh, President Biden, but he's Irish. John F. Kennedy was Irish. Do you see what I mean? All that stuff. So everybody's Irish. So La Hub, we don't want you being xenophobic here. Everybody should be welcome in Ireland. It's our country as much as yours. Followers, guys, absolutely. Hello from Dublin and Ireland. We love you. Amanda Dinky Do, I say. Now, what do we got here? The IRA lost their power when Bobby died because that's when they went rouge and drugs got involved. Yeah, but Stair, it uh, had gone long before that. Absolutely. Oh, yes, indeed. Gone long before that. 79 was the end of that. Hello from Germany. Dinky do. How are you, darling? Amanda, we love you, I say, at the top of the morning to you now. Fantastic. Do you know what I love about Dublin that we don't have in Britain? You've kept your railings on the Georgian and Victorian houses. We had some half-witted idiots in the Second World War, must have been somebody in the government, decided to take all the fencing from the beautiful properties in the United Kingdom and uh, it would be turned into ships and it would be turned into aircraft. Now, ships are made of steel and aircraft are made of a lot of them aluminium or wood. These railings were cast iron, right? Cast iron. And they ended up dumping them in the sea. Dublin has kept this and it is such a joy to see it. We love it. Are you Scottish? Uh, oh, I think I might be. Yes, a bit of that. So there we go. It was gone long before that. So there we go. Now, that's the stuff. Stair says when Bobby died, they got drugs involved, they went mad. It was never really an army, you see. So it should just have been called Irish Republicans because uh, it was, uh, if it had been an army, they'd have put on their uniform and they'd have marched down the street. Follow us, guys. Dinky do as soon as you possibly can. We've got lots to get through, so little time to do it in. Now, I think I'm going to have to dash off. But um, we'll catch up later. But you two, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dump you if you keep going on about all this stuff. Yes, Irish Republican terrorists, the IRT. That would probably have been more apt match. You're quite right, the IRT. Right, uh, we're dashing off, but have a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay fabulous. And from Scotty McClue, Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. Now... Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zane. Au revoir. And a cheerio. Fantastic. Dinky-doo, guys. Ta-ra-la's.